Hello, it's Icy. I'm back with more reference material for the furnishings in Morrowind, uh, the expansion for Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, so today we are going to look at the flowers. Now, none of these flowers are available currently uh, for purchase in-game with in-game gold. They are only available to purchase for crowns. Now, I will say this, uh, the crown costs. Uh, I am recording this on the PTS by the way and also recording this before launch so I can't confirm prices but often the crown costs for small things are much less than the standard costs that they have on the PTS so certainly I've bought something that on the PTS said it was 400 crowns when I checked on the live server it was only 80 so it was something that I actually purchased because it was really cool and it was perfect for my guard as you do so let's have a look at the new flowers so I can't buy a lot of these because they're all purple <laughs> and it will go through my crowns very quickly you get crowns are reset every 24 hours uh, on the PTS server so I'll get more tomorrow but let's buy these and have a look because uh, they are adorable look at those very nice. Not a lot of depth to them. They're really super flat. I don't know whether they would be good in a garden or just good as sort of ground cover. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if you could get like heaps of cheap ones and just cover over all of the sort of the uh, dried mud walking paving areas. That would look fabulous. All right. Okay, so they're the lava blooms. Um, now we've also got the purple bat blooms. Now you will see these around a lot in Morrowind of varying sizes. So we have that one, we have the towering bat blooms, and we have the double bat blooms. Now these were available uh, from the luxury furnishing vendor uh, maybe about a two or three weeks before Morrowind was announced or maybe it was after Morrowind was announced anyway uh, two or three weeks maybe before the PTS server was released um, that's what I'm trying to say uh, so you might see these floating around that you can purchase for gold and that's where they came from so uh, remember if you buy something for crowns it is locked to your account you can't then trade it with somebody else so just keep that in mind when you're purchasing things Okay, so we've got the uh, the lava blooms, which are pretty much just a smaller version of the lava bloom patch. So um, we've got the net cabbage. You will see these around. These are these are pretty cool, cute little cute little ones. Cute little bunny ears. I want to see somebody make a bunny in game. You know, like a rock for the head. And the, anyway. Let me know if anybody does that. Um, okay, so we've got uh, a cabbage patch. Maybe that's where the netches are born. Get it? Only if you're old enough. Um, and you've got some with the stalks. I wonder if they eat those in Morrowind. Netch cabbage. I'm sure that there'll be a recipe called netch cabbage soup or something. I'm sure that'll be picking up. So if you're looking to make a vegetable garden, in amongst your pumpkins and other things, you could actually have some netch cabbages that might work. Um, oh, now we already looked at the big bat blooms. Okay, so they are the. Oh no, no, that's even more. Hang on. Okay, so the flowers opposing bat blooms and the flowers double bat blooms are the same, and the sullen bat blooms. Okay, they are actually new. Okay, so they just need a bit of water, basically, looks like. Uh, so they're all the new flowers that you can buy for crowns that are currently not available in Game for Gold. Now, I would think maybe some of these could come back up um, in the Luxury Furniture Vendor. You do need to keep checking them. Oh, yes, you do. Um, so even though... Uh, Make sure you do that every week, pretty much. Uh, apparently, when Morrowind releases, the luxury furniture vendor will have Morrowind-themed items. So even if you're not buying the game, you should be able to uh, 
maybe get some of these things for yourself. You could, of course, buy any of these things for crowns and stick them in your own house because the actual items won't be linked to Morrowind or the Morrowind content. Okay, uh, where were we going after that? We had a quick look at ferns, hedges. There are no new hedges, which I find disappointing. Plants, okay. So, under plants, the rest of the things, which we also, I talked briefly about the uh, swamp pitcher cluster, but the rest of the swampy type plants are all under here, under here. So, okay, so we've got um, some foxtail clusters, which these are fantastic. These are so nice. Oh, I want those everywhere. How fantastic are they? Ah, oh, garden hedges, borders, but I'm not going to pay crowns for them, pretty much. Um, okay, a bit of stalk. Ooh. Oh, look, now that would be great in a pot. So it's nice to have, I like having tree, like small trees in pots. They're not always the worst, best design for it, but that one with its skinny trunk, perfect. All right, so we have the hanging pitcher plants. Uh, perhaps great if you've got a Telvani style house, maybe. Um, so we've got some Elkhorns. Now an Elkhorn is, in case you're not familiar with it, an Elkhorn is a plant, though this one's not, no, we have to spin it around, is a plant that grows on walls, like this, pretty much. So they look, they look pretty cool, actually. And they do, they do actually grow up there in the air. Sometimes they have flowers, different sorts of things. So, um, so that's a hefty elkhorn. Uh, oh, we've got some lovely, uh, more colourful little flower, flower types here, which I think could look good if you intermix them with some other plants. So the lava blossoms are good, but yeah, very flat to the ground. Um, these give us some more height I suppose and the lava leaf which honestly these are fantastic I want these I don't know in a basket just sitting around they're so cute uh, oh so we have a sundew which is another carnivorous plant um, and this might look really cool in a pot inside and probably also very handy um, because these end bits are sticky and they attract flies and bugs that get caught on them and then it dissolves them and eats them so you know keeping the bugs out of your house why not um where are we okay so we've got a young elk horn as well so just not quite as big as the sturdy one uh we've got the ash fronds which are papyrus like i very very much like those oh i like those so much and I really want bunches of those around, possibly in pots, possibly just lining uh, the edge of the water. Uh, okay, so we've got multiple pitcher plants. Oh gosh, sorry, that was a bit loud. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, that one's not even meant to beep then. Uh, yeah, so more pitcher plants if you like pitcher plants, which is fine I guess. In fact they're exactly the same as the ones under the aquatic section so far as I can tell. Uh, so shrubs. So these are more. So I've left the shrubs in this section rather than the tree section because in a sense they're more small garden items and they're more like plants. So we've got a little laurels which I think will make oh, really nice uh, borders. The short bit of shrub which is mate to this one, so you can stack those together quite nicely, but not as good for a pot because it's broader at the base. Uh, a bitter cluster shrub. Now these, there's a bunch of different sort of shrubs similar to this, like the brown crub. <laughs> this one, which is an in game and existing, but you could mix these together get some really interesting kind of effects and color formations and we have the flowering dusk shrub which is which is very pretty nice little pale pale lavender shrub um but yeah you've got um if you're prepared to pay crowns there are 
more options in here. So uh, the other thing that you might be able to look out for is um, certainly when Housing Worlds released, they had a furnishing pack for 500 crowns that had um, a whole selection of plants and trees and all sorts of stuff um, just in the one uh, collection so do look out for that I'm sure that there will be something similar and if you are planning to buy some of these things for crowns it could be worthwhile waiting a little while to see if there's a you know a bundled set that gives you most of what you're after so and uh, those exit those housing homestead released housing packs are actually still available on the crown store so you can go and have a look and see what's that what kind of things you get there okay so vines we looked at aquatic okay so that's about it for all of the new plants rocks mushrooms and garden type things that you can get in Morrowind there will be more episodes of these showing you the new furniture um, but this will do for the moment so thank you very much for watching um, I hope you found that useful let me know what you like best out of the new little flowers do you like all of the carnivorous plants and my question is where's my Venus flytrap if you're gonna have picture plants and sundew plants you have to have a Venus flytrap hello um, anyway thank you for watching please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video please do subscribe for more content like this so much more Morrowind content and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.